Today, Mikey and I have built two restaurants and we will find out which one is better. Mikey's restaurant is poor and looks bad. My restaurant is rich and looks very good. Today, we will fight for the recognition of the villagers. It, each of us prepared ourselves. The interior of Mikey's restaurant is simple and the dishes don't stand out in any way. Just bread, raw potatoes, and rotten meat. He has a poor kitchen and works in his restaurant alone. But he is confident of his victory. Yep, I can do it. My restaurant, in turn, is very rich. It is entirely made of diamonds, gold, and emeralds. I have waiter and a professional chef, and my dishes are very tasty, like delicacies. I also have a comfortable kitchen and plenty of space and good lighting. Good luck, Mikey. We'll finally find out whose restaurant is better. You can't win. We'll see about that, JJ. Good luck to you, too. So now it's time to go to my rich restaurant and wait for the first villagers. I'm sure Mikey has no chance. Waiter, chef, get together. Soon we will have a lot of customers. Everything should be at the highest level. Check the availability of all the ingredients. Here are the first villagers. They need to be met. Welcome to the JJ's restaurant. Hi, JJ. We are glad to come to your restaurant. We need a lot of food for the whole village. Make us all your menu. There are so many of you. I'm glad to see you too. Make yourself comfortable. Now, together with the staff of my restaurant, we will do everything for you. The best dishes and drinks. You will not regret coming to us. That's exactly what's ready. Now I'll give you everything. I'll just free up some space on the delivery table. While you spread out on the tables, I'll give you the bill. Here are your dishes. Some bananas for dessert and the king of the table. A whole baked pig. Bon appetit. Thanks, JJ. We'll pick up everything now and come back to pay for the order while you give us more dishes. Well, villagers, here's some more baked chicken, burgers, and fruits. It's the best for you. Enjoy and come to us again. And the biggest cake, also for you on the house. Thanks, JJ. Everything is very tasty and unusual. Your restaurant is just super, so rich and luxurious. We will always come to you. We are ready to give you all our money. It's not a pity for such food. I am very pleased that you appreciated my restaurant so much. We tried especially for you. You are the best customers. Thank you for your visit. We will wait for you again. Good luck to you. Here are some more drinks for you personally from me. Here is the money for all the dishes and a small tip. You have fed us well. This is the best place in our village. We will definitely come back here again. Your baked pig is simply delicious. I would be glad to welcome you to my restaurant. We work especially for you. Ho <laughs> oh, everything seems to be going great. My first clients left very satisfied and gave me a lot of money. I wonder what's going on with Mikey. It seems that his restaurant is empty. I am winning confidently. I knew that I would win this versus. <sighs> Where are all the villagers? I'm tired of waiting. First customer, welcome. Glad to see you. What do you want? Do you have any bread? I just need bread. The sooner the better. Plain bread. Okay, now I'll give you bread. But maybe you want something else? It's nothing. Just bread. Ordinary bread. Okay, here's your bread. Are you ready to pay? In the sense of paying. In such an institution, I'm not going to pay anything for it. This bread is mine. And that's it. <laughs> Give me back my bread. You haven't paid. I forbid you to appear in my restaurant. I'll find you and take my money. <laughs> I can't catch up with him anymore. How can I? The first villager and immediately crazy and also stole bread from me. <laughs> I think it's JJ. He sent him on purpose to steal my bread. I know what I'm going to do with it. I will sneak into his kitchen and steal his food. Then all his customers will become mine and I will win this confrontation. I need to carefully go around his restaurant and show him right behind the kitchen wall, which I will break with my iron pickaxe. JJ is too busy and will never notice me. And when I pick up his food, he will definitely admit defeat and my poor restaurant will win. It seems that his kitchen is somewhere here. I need to do everything carefully, not to get caught in the eyes of the chef and the waiters. If they notice, they will immediately tell everything to JJ. I'm almost at the goal, there is very little left. Now the waiter will come around the corner and I can sneak into the kitchen unnoticed. Oh, what happened? My iron golem, have you had enough of Mikey? Did he try to get into the kitchen, which I put you on guard? You're good, here's your money for the job. Maybe I'll take it off myself. You didn't break anything for him. 
I'll bring your money in a minute and put him on the ground. Let him come to his senses. Here's your money, and now, as I asked, let him go. While he's recovering, I'll think about what to do with him. Maybe turtle soup? Oh! <laughs> you can go back to your seat. You did a great job today. It's good that I put an iron golem to guard the kitchen. I knew Mikey would want to get into it and steal something. And while he's unconscious, I need to close the gap that he made when he tried to get here. It's good that I have diamond locks left. It won't be difficult to fix the wall. I hope this was the last trick from Mikey and he doesn't give it anymore. My patience is running out. It seems everything is ready. It remains to wait for Mikey to wake up. I hope he didn't break anything anywhere. <laughs> Where am I? What happened to me? I don't remember anything. And I'll remind you. You tried to sneak into my kitchen and steal something, but my iron golem wouldn't let you do it. Sorry, JJ. I didn't have any customers at all. And one crazy guy just stole my bread. I just wanted the villagers to come to me too. Please excuse me. Okay, Mikey. I'm sorry for you. I'll give you one recipe for burgers. They're very tasty. People will come to you for them, but never do that again. Woohoo! Thank you, JJ. You are the best friend in the world. Uh-oh. It seems that something went wrong. Since I gave Mikey the burger recipe, no one comes to me. I need to go to his restaurant and find out why this is happening. My restaurant is overgrown with cobwebs. It definitely needs to be fixed. I'm sure Mikey just did something to my burgers. That they are now cheaper but of lower quality, I will prove it. What? Does he add rotten meat to burgers and all the villagers eat it? They will get poisoned. I urgently need to fix it. Mikey, what are you doing? Why are you putting rotten flesh in burgers? I don't know what you're talking about, JJ. Everyone likes it. They are just as delicious and are much cheaper than yours. So all your customers came to me. Mikey, these are just disgusting burgers. I won't leave it like that. You'll regret it and everyone will know about it. I take pictures of him frying cutlets from rotten flesh and I'll hang flyers with it right on his restaurant. All the villagers will see it, be disappointed in him and come back to me. I need more photos so that everyone can make sure that Mikey just sent them with his burgers. He will regret what he did. I'm sure the villagers will not leave it like that and even take all the fuel money and bring it to me. Ho <laughs> ho! Come on, Mikey, say cheese on camera. Soon everyone will know your terrible secret. <laughs> Everything seems to be ready. Flyers with terrible images of Mikey are pasted up. Now everyone who comes into his restaurant will see them. Is everything going well for me? Everyone is eating my burgers. Hey, Mikey, what's wrong with us? We went, we saw your photos and found out that you added rotten flesh to burgers. You're terrible. We'll never come back here. We will destroy everything here right now if you do not return all our money to us and do not forget about compensation for treatment and moral damage. Okay, okay, I'll give it back to you now. Just don't destroy everything here. Please, I didn't mean to poison you, but my burgers were cheaper than JJ's. Take your disgusting burgers. We don't care if they're cheaper, if they're bad. Then we'd better go to the restaurant opposite. It's always delicious. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to beat JJ. We are not interested in this. Just return all our money as soon as possible. Otherwise, our patience is already running out. You are terrible, simply disgusting. You cannot poison the villagers like that, even hiding behind delicious burgers. Oh, I am very ashamed, but please do not leave. Come to me again. I will improve. All the guys, let's get out of here. We were poorly fed here. We won't come back here anymore. <laughs> they all went to JJ. I need to come up with something. I knew he would set me up with this rotten flesh, but it was fine until he came to me. I need to think. Think, Mikey, how to get them all back. Hmm. I think I have an idea. It's crazy, but it might work. I have a potion that increases weight. It only works for a few minutes. I can pretend like I got fat eating in JJ's Retzerin. The villagers will see it, be disappointed in it, and come back to me. In this chest, there is this potion. I need it now. I will drink it and get fat. The main thing is that my shell does not crack. 
I think it turned out that I became the biggest turtle on the planet. Running has become more difficult, but I urgently need to go to JJ's restaurant. Listen to me, everyone. I ate at JJ's restaurant every day and that's what happened to me. I got fat and began to run and jump slowly. Here in the Mikey's restaurant, this will not happen to you. Leave this place and go to a good Mikey's restaurant. Oh no, we don't want that. We're getting out of here. We don't want to get fat. Don't listen to him. He's lying. I'll get back at Mikey. Don't listen to him. I'm glad to see you. Now I'll give you a menu, and you'll eat healthy food that will only make you stronger. I did it. All the clients came back to me. <laughs> Bo, this Mikey, he crossed all boundaries. I know how to take revenge on him. I have watermelons in my garden in the village, and there is a seafood warehouse nearby. There is everything you need for a healthy diet. And from the heat, all villagers love shrimp, mussels, and lobsters. They immediately come back to me. And here he is. I need to collect all the watermelons. They turned out just great. And do not forget about the ice boxes where sea products are stored. Here they are right here. It remains only to take them with me to the restaurant. <laughs> Mikey has no chance. Now all his clients will come back to me again and won't go anywhere else. Mikey just won't have a chance to take them away. They'll realize that Mikey cheated on them and won't go to him anymore. Now it remains to place all the seafood and watermelons right in front of the entrance so that the villagers can see them and come running here. I have a great and attractive composition coming out. Better than any advertisement, I would love to go to such a restaurant myself. All that remains is to get one watermelon on each side and everything will be ready. And do not forget to remove the garbage from under my feet. Hey, villagers! At the JJ restaurant, an action is taking place now. Ordering food. You get watermelon and seafood as a gift. The food is healthy and fresh. The best in our village. Wow! We really love seafood and watermelons. Thanks. We still didn't like Mikey's poor restaurant. Wait, don't go? You wanted to eat at my restaurant? He's cheating on you. <laughs> Welcome again. As always, we are glad to see you. Come sit down, make your orders. We will do everything in the best possible way. <laughs> this JJ is already pissing me off. If I can't pick up his clients, then I'll just take his money. Woohoo! I'll dig under his restaurant, right behind the wall where he has the money, and carefully, so that no one notices me, I'll take them away, even if the golem does not bother me. Right here, I need to dig right under myself and then just straight. Yep! Woohoohoo! I'll be rich! That's it. I'm right behind the wall, and all of JJ's money is behind it. I'll break only one block to reach the chest, and that's it. And then I immediately put it back in place. JJ will never guess how it went wrong and who stole his money. It seems the chest is right behind this diamond block. Woohoohoo! And that's all the money. Until JJ sees it, I take it all for myself. Now I need to leave everything as it was and go back to my restaurant. Woohoo! So, I'm finally in the restaurant. I need to cover the floor with boards so as not to give myself away. I did it all right now. I have a lot of money. Woohoo! Woohoohoo! Now I can rest. So, what's up with my money? What? Hmm. And what about Mikey? Yeah, I think I figured it out. He somehow managed to get in here and take all my money. He should be punished. I need to see what's on the back of the restaurant. Hmm. I didn't see anything when I was working, but it became clear how he got into my kitchen. He made a dig and quietly pulled money out of the trunk behind my back. But I think I know how to take revenge on him. Since I have a lot of TNT and the ability to cut mejnisms, I will blow up Mikey's restaurant full of... I have a redstone and a repeater. I can make my way right to the bottom of his restaurant. And at a safe distance, I can press the lever and blow up his poor restaurant. I need to remember to put repeaters so that the signal reaches the TNT. Well, I'm almost there. All that remains is to put all the TNT that I have here so that there is nothing left of Mikey's restaurant. <laughs> there's so much TNT here that it would be enough for an entire village. But here, there's just one small restaurant that's made of earth. It's just going to disappear, and Mikey will understand that he should have been honest and not tried to frame me. Ho <laughs> ho! There is very little left. One repeater and connect the TNT to the trigger. <laughs> Everything is definitely ready now. I can run upstairs and press the lever. Ho <laughs> ho! 
It seems the mechanism has worked. Now something is going to explode. Oh! I can't wait to see Mikey's face. He's probably in shock. It was as if his restaurant had never existed. Oh! Ah! JJ, did you blow up my restaurant? I knew it was you. I'll show you now. You'll answer for it. <laughs> Calm down, Mikey. There was my money that you stole, so it's all fair. I tell you to calm down. I suggest you end this stupid competition. Let's go to my restaurant. I'll give you diamonds and money, and we'll just manage our rich and profitable restaurant. You're in the kitchen, and I'm in the audience room. Here, hold your diamond blocks. I'll put the remaining ones on the wall so that everything looks beautiful. Thanks, JJ. I agree. I'm tired of this competition, too. Let's feed the villagers delicious food together. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, Mikey, get up in the kitchen while I put away all my unnecessary things and collect the diamond blocks that scattered on the floor. You've settled in quickly. That's good. You have a very cool kitchen, JJ. It's a pleasure to work in it. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Now we're going to have the most successful restaurant. Woohoo! Ho-ho! <laughs> <laughs>